Hi guys, hello and welcome to another video by Fermuwe and Mr. Jerry, Jerry Gray. Gray. We are here in Shenzhen touring and I thought, well, it would be a great opportunity for me to ask Jerry, what do you think about these videos that have been coming out on YouTube about 29 days for the entire collapse of the Chinese economy, 28 days, 25 days. Yeah, I, I have my ideas, but... I What's think yours? I think we're down to about the last 25 or 24 days, aren't we? Depending on when you started watching. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so any day now, within the next three or four weeks, China's going to collapse, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong. <laughs> it's not going to collapse. I mean, just taking a look around where we are now in Shenzhen, there is building everywhere, and uh, everything that China does is building infrastructure that is future G GDP growth. Exactly. Everything they do. Yeah. Well, my, my my first comment or my initial comment on that is, well. The Pentagon lost 23 or 25 trillion dollars yeah. just a few years ago. They don't know what happened. They can't find them. Yet the American economy did not collapse. So if something like that would happen to Evergrande, right? Trillions were lost. What it, makes you think that it's going to collapse? If America didn't collapse, why would China collapse? If it were true. The whole thing is that the structure of the economy is designed so it can't collapse. It's not a deck of cards where you pull one out, the whole thing comes down. Mm -hmm. It's a scaffolded, built structural system. And the entrepreneurs and the, the, the guys who become the billionaires mm -hmm. aren't controlling it. Mm -hmm. The guys who control it are the guys who have PhDs in economy. They have all kinds of uh, very, very serious qualifications. The Politburo is all full of people who have serious engineering, chemical engineering, economics, PhDs, doctorates. They're, they're very, very smart people. The, and, the, and that's what's running the country. The other thing that comes to mind is, well, um, when you put a video like that that says 28 days to the collapse of yeah. China, 27 days to the collapse of China, what happens when it doesn't collapse after 28 Well, you've put your days, reputation on the line, haven't you? Um, Gordon exactly. Chang did this in, in his book, The Coming Collapse of China. For 20 de yeah, two decades it was, it was going to happen. He wrote the book in 2000, or probably wrote it in 1999, 1998. It was published, I think, 2000. And it was going to happen by 2012. The man's reputation is completely shot because he's doubling down on it and saying, yeah, my timing was wrong, but it's still going to yeah, happen. Yeah. And, and his latest move is not that it's going to collapse. It's that its power is so strong, it's taken over the world while it's collapsing. <laughs> so where's your reputation? Once you start saying this is going to happen, this is why on my, I, I often give opinions on my videos in my writing. Mm -hmm. I'll give an opinion. I think this will probably happen. I say I think. And then if I'm wrong, I say, okay, well, I was wrong about mm -hmm. that. <laughs> we made mistakes. Well, we've made a couple of videos where I've been wrong. Uh, but yes, this thing about putting videos out there saying this is going to happen, I think that that is actually banking on the ignorance of the viewers. The viewers who, after 28 days, 29 days, are like, oh, it didn't happen. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. But they'll continue to watch because there's hundreds of thousands of views that those videos get. One of them had over a million views. I saw uh, uh, that, yeah. Uh, and, the, and the thing is, it's, there's also this situation where China is difficult to get to, mm -hmm. not because it's hard to get in or out of. COVID, yes, has made that hard. But places like Xinjiang, they can say, oh, look, this happens in Xinjiang because nobody goes there. But then mm. the people who do go there say, no, that doesn't happen at all. So it's really about your on the ground experience. And China is no different. Probably, I don't know the numbers, but I would guess 95% of the world have never been to China, who are not Chinese, mm -hmm. of course. 95% of the world who are not Chinese have never been to China. So they read about China and their knowledge is completely fraudulent. Yeah. It's, it's not even misunderstood or misinterpreted. Some of it is clear fraudulence. The, the, the last thing that I want to say, because we wanted to make a very yeah. short video for you guys to, to watch, is very uh, time critical, <laughs> because we only have 25 days, yeah. is why did Nancy Pelosi come here? I think it was to affect the stock that she owned. Isn't there a possibility that these people are influencing markets with their YouTube channel so they can benefit for whatever reaction that the markets are having to their videos, Almost whatever reaction certainly. that people are, if people are panicking or something and they start selling out, whatever, well, they might have They've short shortened yeah. the, yeah. the, the, the stock yeah. and then the gain. Isn't yeah. that manipulation? Isn't that something fraudulent that should be looked into? I don't what think there's of? any doubt that Pelosi's visit was, um, was for her own self 
game. I don't mm -hmm. think there's any doubt about that because even even her president and her Pentagon said you shouldn't be doing this, mm -hmm. and she decided she wanted to. Now, whether it was for financial gain or whether it was for her personal, political. historical, political career, a legacy that she's going to leave behind, I don't know enough about her personal life and her financial life to know. But for certain, it was more personal than it was professional mm. or political. So when people are watching these videos, you got to wonder, okay, what is there to gain for the people who make these videos? Um, there's, chances are not only are they getting, well, money from YouTube because millions of views, that's mm. good though. People but want also, to see China collapse. But it's all, yeah, it's that desire to see it collapse, desire to, and the desire to affect the markets and benefit from it at some point, I think. I think that's all it is, yeah, market sure. manipulation. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much. And remember, go to Jerry's channel, subscribe, and do the same with mine. Give it a like, share this one. Thank and you. until we see you again, take it easy. See you next Bye time. Bye for now.